Yeah, just uh, this is just a manifestation, uh, Mr. Senate President. At the outset, we would like to uh, to put on record that uh, uh, we believe that the presiding officer has been very, very fair, and uh, in handling the proceeding, especially the past few days, the presiding officer has been handling it like a real, true statesman. We just want to, uh, nevertheless, uh, Mr. President. We just want to wish the, to call the attention of the Senate President and the members of this uh, honorable uh, tribunal on the fundamental issue on how the proceeding is being conducted. Uh, the prosecution feels that uh, the proceeding is being conducted like a criminal trial, uh, with due respect, uh, Your Honors. And uh, it is the, the belief of the prosecution that this is more of a, a question of policy than technical and legal. Uh, we just want to, uh, to put our observation on record that in the first two hearings of this honorable tribunal, last Wednesday and Thursday, it seems that the rules of evidence under the rules of court being only supplementarily applied whenever applicable pursuant to the Senate rules have been actually the controlling rules. And uh, at times, uh, Mr. Senate President, it has been uh, strictly applied. Uh, we, we observe that uh, in the last two hearings, there has been at least 30 objections from the defense and uh, around, and the prosecution uh, reform our questions around uh, at least 20 times. <coughs> Uh, our feeling here, uh, Mr. President, is that uh, the Senate is acting like, like an ordinary court. But to us, the Senate is no ordinary court because it is the repository of the people's uh, trust. Even the prosecutors here with humility are no ordinary prosecutors. We came here with a mandate from the House of Representatives as the keepers of our people's faith in the system. Uh, we just feel uh, that the strict application of the technical rules has unduly restricted during the last two days the presentation of the evidence by the prosecution, uh, Your Honors. And uh, what is the pleasure of the our of our request? Uh, our request. You, uh, what are you trying to ask the? Uh, the yeah. This Our request, Your Honor, is uh, for the Honorable Tribunal to be liberal uh, in our, let's say, in the asking of questions uh, by the prosecution so that the truth would really come out. Are you so that's are all. You uh, just a minute. Just to, let's just clarify this. Are you suggesting that uh, we should not, uh, uh, we should allow misleading questions? We are not. We are not, uh, right. Your Honors. Uh, are what? you suggesting that we should uh, uh, allow hearsay evidence? No, no, uh, no, uh, Mr. President. What were are you uh, suggesting that we should allow argumentative questions? We're not uh, suggesting that, uh, Mr. What Senate then President. are you suggesting? What our suggestion? What our suggestion is? Uh, uh, lastly, are you? Are you suggesting that we should allow hypothetical questions? No, no. No, uh, Mr. Uh, Senate President. But uh, Are you suggesting that we should allow leading questions, teaching the witness what to say? Uh, that's not the suggestion of, uh, of this representation. It's just uh, uh, giving flexibility to... Uh, to the prosecution, uh, Mr. The President, chair please. The is uh, open to any suggestion uh, how flexible you want the chair to be. No, it, uh, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's just a matter of uh, flexibility on our part to uh, elicit the truth from, uh, from uh, witnesses without, of course, sacrificing the due process accorded to yes. the defense. Uh, because, Your Honors, this is... I must be candid with you, uh, Your Honor that uh, I assumed, given the time 
from the, the from the transmission of the articles of impeachment to this court up to the time that we co we notified you to appear before this court on a day certain and time certain for the first session of this court there was enough time to marshal assemble and marshal your evidence for each of the articles of impeachment i even assumed that in the preparation of the articles of impeachment as a presiding officer i assume that the evidence were already marshaled assembled and ordered for presentation for each article and that is why i assumed also that those were the basis of the preparation of the articles of impeachment and that is why i thought that uh, i would uh, conduct the proceeding in a manner that will satisfy the right of the respondent to a speedy trial because that's the mandate of the constitution so if you want to me to relax the rules then tell me how i must do it and to what extent that i must relax the rules we are for a speedy trial uh, mr president your honors uh, we we uh, respect the rights of the accused to due process or here in this case the respondent so uh, what we're saying is just uh, just a little flexibility to ask our questions are to elicit the truth. To, are you suggesting that we should uh, relax the best evidence rule? And if so, to what extent? Well, uh, I'll submit to uh, to the wisdom of uh, this honorable tribunal, Your Honours. No, I, I, I would like to really hear your position I, I'm willing to I'm willing to bend forward uh, backwards like for example um, in order sir, to accommodate okay. uh, to show you that this court is not for or against anybody but I must conduct this proceeding in an orderly manner and the only way by which I can do that is to have some rules and the only rules available for us as a tool for that purpose is an ancient rule tested by time mm -hmm. in many, many trials around the world. And these are the rules of evidence. The tra tradition of our profession is such that we live by these rules of evidence if you, are in, you live in the courtroom as a trial lawyer. We submit, Your Honor. That's, uh, that's all. The gentleman from uh, Taguig. Magandang hapon, Mr. Presiding Officer.